Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another prize picks video from Dynamo. In this one, we have five really good picks from you guys, as always. This time, I'm talking about the NBA Summer League, which has been pretty good to us so far, especially the California Classic. And yesterday, some of the props were too low. Slightly adjusted for today, but I still think there's some that, that we could take advantage of, uh, advantage of here today. So stick around for all the picks because we got some good ones in here. Also, get in the free Discord here. It'll be linked down below. Vote on Jaden Ivey over under 21.5 points. Yesterday, you guys voted on Wemby here on the under, and that one hit. We also got a lot of good talk going on in the other channels of the Discord. For the VIP paid section of Discord, we are offering a one-day free trial as well right now. And then it's less than a dollar a day for access to our projections and 10 of our capper picks as well. So for this one, the first one I'm going to in one of the early games, the other picks we have are going to be for the later games. We're going to Chet Holmgren here over. Hasn't had a big scoring game yet in Summer League because he did play in one of the leagues before the Las Vegas games. And sometimes those guys hold back a little bit in those games because the brighter lights is going to be in the Vegas Summer League tournaments. Holmgren has come close to this a few times. Actually, I think he might have had 17 one game, but I'm expecting a higher scoring game from him in this one in Vegas. And he did rest one of the games as well. So he's going to be rested up, ready to go. And I think he's going to have a big scoring game in this one. So I'm going to Chet Holmgren on the, on the over here. The second one we're going to is Jason Preston, who maybe a lot of guys don't even remember him. He went to Ohio for college, not Ohio State, Ohio. He kind of played like LaMelo Ball and then came in the league, got on the Clippers, and obviously the Clippers are just a ton of veterans, you know, never really play their guys. He's stacked behind so many guys, never plays really in the NBA at all, but he is saucy. He's nice. He had a really good summer league uh, a year ago, maybe even two years ago now. I can't remember how long he's been in the league, but for Preston... I'm going to be taking the over. I think he can score a lot. He shoots threes. Honestly, he plays like LaMelo Ball. He's really fun to watch play. If you haven't seen his highlights or anything, you should check him out. And he's just a really good player. On this Clippers Summer League team, if we look at it, they got Preston. And honestly, besides Diabate, who was on their team last year, who's a big man, I don't recognize any of these names. So I'm pretty sure it's just going to be his ball to have I guess they did have two picks here from the draft a the last pick of the first round and a late second round pick as well on this team but basically Preston um, is going to be handling the ball and shooting a lot and assisting a lot in this one if they had a PRA bet up I would probably be taking that because he's an assist guy as well all right, the next one, we're going to our first under here. It's going to be Jairus Walker. And Walker is the highly drafted player for Indiana. I can't remember. He's maybe pick eight of the draft. His points props at 13 and a half, so he needs 14. I'm going under on this one, and I do like him, but let me just explain why. Pacers' summer league team is absolutely stacked. Kendall Brown was a player they picked last year. Isaiah Jackson started a lot of games for them last year at the same position as Jairus Walker. Then you got Benedict Matherin, who's looking to get 30 every game. You got Andrew Nembard, who was a really good rookie last year as well. And then you also have Jairus Walker. So I still I think Jairus Walker may start here, but in the starting lineup, you got a lot of scoring people that are going to take the ball and last year in college, Jairus Walker only averaged 11.2 points per game. So to get 14, you know, would be above his average. And that was in nearly 28 minutes in a fast-paced Houston offense. And he actually shot the ball well and still didn't average that many points. So I think he can be good in the NBA. But just on this summer league team, not seeing a huge scoring opportunity for him in this one at least. So I'm going to take the under on Jairus Walker. The next one, Kenny Lofton Jr. He is just a monster 
especially in summer league when there's smaller guys. He's so big, physical, but he can handle the ball and shoot it. And he's not afraid to shoot, <laughs> even in summer league. I think the first game he took like 18 shots. And then the second game he got like 10 free throws. <laughs> so he'll do whatever it takes to get his shots up. Free throws, jumpers, threes. And wasn't efficient in either game, but still had a 20-point game in one of the earlier summer league games. And I think he's just going to dominate against Chicago, who I don't really see anyone on the roster that will be able to guard him. And I just think he's going to have a monster one in this Vegas Summer League again. Obviously had a 40-something point game in the NBA last year in a regular season game. So he can score the ball. And then the next one I'm going to is Anthony Black, who's at 14 and a half. To me, a little disrespectful on this prop. Anthony Black, what was he, the sixth pick in the NBA draft? And looking at Orlando, they have a ton of young guards on their NBA roster. You know, Suggs, Cole Anthony, Markel Fultz. I'm probably missing one or two others as well. But on this team, he's not going to have to fight for minutes. It's going to be him and the other guy they drafted, uh, Jet Howard. And I guess a little bit of Caleb Houston as well, who's more of a small forward. But the, most of the guard minutes are going to be going to Anthony Black. People think he could be really good, and it was kind of an underrated pick that slipped behind some guys early, even though he still did go really early. But I think at 14 and a half, it's just way too low. Black wasn't a huge scorer in college, but still averaged around 14 a game. I think in the summer league, when he's like the only guy on his team, he'll be in for a big one in this game, just basically taking all the shots. So I like Anthony Black. All right, so if you guys aren't in the Discord yet, definitely get in there. Jaden Ivey, vote on this prop. Right now, if he got 3-1, to one, 21 and a half is a lot for Jaden Ivey, but obviously probably one of the best players in Summer League. Definitely could easily do it. Just depends on his minutes, you know. So get in there. Let me know what you think about that. Talk to everyone in here about Summer League. All the other sports, if you want to sign up for all of our picks on all sports, that's MLB, WNBA, NFL when that comes, NBA when that comes, Summer League, golf, eSports, we got everything. Get to this link, try out the one-day free trial, and then after that, it's just going to be less than a dollar per day. So very affordable here to get all these picks every single day, and you get that free trial to see if you like it. All right, a quick recap. We got Anthony Black, over 14.5 points. Kenny Lofton, over 19.5. Jarris Walker, under 13.5. Preston, over 14.5. And and Chet Holmgren, over 16.5. So that's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, get in those discords, and I'll see you guys in the next one.